Hi, my name is Alexei Lomarski, and today I want to tell you about another little uh, life hack of mine, little trick, uh, and that is silence. Silence. Such a simple, simple thing. It has been so beneficial to me to give myself silence uh, in my personal life, in my career. Um, but I was so scared of it. I used to be so scared of silence. Up until I met my wife, up until my wife moved in with me, I would have music on or TV on or something playing at all times of the day. Even when I was going to sleep, even in bed, I would have to have some faint music playing in the corner of a room because I was so scared of silence. Because silence to me meant, it meant going into my thoughts. All of a sudden, as soon as there was silence, then I had to deal with my thoughts and I had to process my thoughts and I just didn't want to deal with it. I just wanted to numb it out and close it out, which is such a waste because now I realize the benefit of silence and the benefit of sitting with your thoughts. Um, I wish I'd done it a long, long, long time ago. So during our crazy chaotic 21st century life, we will be going to work. We'll be waking up. We'll be looking at Instagram. We'll be jumping on the subway. We'll be getting to work, seeing people at the coffee shop getting in front of a laptop, uh, seeing videos that people send you, doing your work, and this carries on, carries on all day long. And so there's zero time in our lives now to just be in silence. And what's happening is you're having a multitude of miniature emotion injections, right? So this little, and especially now with Instagram, you can, you're going so fast on it that um, every image can give you an emotion. You might see something that makes you feel good, then you might feel something that makes you feel bad, and then might something makes you feel uh, regret or love or whatever it is, and all these things are just going fast. Your brain doesn't have a two seconds to, to, to uh, process those emotions. So they just get pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And um, you know, you, you, somebody you see in the street might say something, or you might notice somebody in the street that might make you feel something. And these are all things that you need to process in your daily life to be a normal, healthy, you know, well-adjusted human being. So the other thing about silence is that whatever you're doing, whatever action you're doing, whether you're taking a walk, whether you're walking the dog, whether you are sitting or washing your clothes or uh, cooking or even eating, doing it in silence brings you into the present moment. Unless, you know, how many of us eat food in front of the TV? And how many, do you even know what you're tasting? Do you even know when you're full? You're just watching TV, watching TV, and the, 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 this, this noise is being thrown at you, and you're just shoveling food into your mouth. Um, if you turn TV off, all of a sudden you're focused on your food, and you're looking and taking it all in, the colors, the smell, the sensation. So it really grounds you in the, in the, in the now, so to speak. And I always explain it to people, um, especially creatives, that if you want to be more creative, learn to be comfortable in silence. I always describe it as this sort of, um, imagine there's this creative ether, this creative force, the energy that's floating around, and it's full of these amazing ideas, and all it's waiting for is for you to just sit still for a second, to not have sounds and sights and uh, social media and movies and music or anything going on. Just sit. Let your ideas formulate in your head, all your memories, all your thoughts, all your emotions. Dispense of the stuff that you've taken care of. Make room for other stuff to come in. Make room for that stuff to drop in out of the creative ether. Uh, I, I get up two hours before my kids because I need those two hours in the morning to do my, my, uh, my exercise, my meditation, my rounding, my breathing exercises. And during those two hours in the morning, I have so many ideas. That's my idea factory time. I will just be sort of doing whatever it is, whatever part of it is, the meditation or the exercises, and I'll have to have um, a, note, a notepad nearby because I will have ideas. It could be creative ideas, it could be the first line of a poem, it could be an idea for a photo shoot, it could be um, something that I want to do for my wife, something I want to do for my mum, uh, something I had to remember to do that I forgot beforehand, uh, ideas for projects I can work on, and it's so exciting, the stuff just comes in, comes in. And it can be scary, don't get me wrong. Sitting with your thoughts can be scary because there is, it, what it does, it brings up all these memories and thoughts and emotions that you have 
kind of pushed back because either you didn't have time to deal with it or you didn't even know that they had affected you. And so when you sit in silence, it starts to creep up and it starts to simmer and starts to come into your brain and uh, to allow you to process it. And you're gonna go through it and you're gonna feel the pain, you're gonna feel the awkwardness and but it will start to resolve itself. It'll start to process itself in your, in your head and you will learn to live with it or think about something you can do to remedy it. And it can be so therapeutic. It's like going to a therapist, you know? In, in order to fix your problems with a therapist, you have to talk about them. So think about it like that. You are being your own therapist. And then once it's all sorted, then you can release those thoughts. So during this time, we're stuck in our, in our homes and uh, so I want to try to ask you to do this little exercise, see if it helps you. So I uh, want to see if you can try 10 minutes sitting in silence, half an hour in silence, maybe a whole day in silence if you can manage it, uh, and see what comes up. It's, it's a very funny thing because the first couple of minutes of being in silence can be really weird and you're just desperate to turn on some music or just do something. But after you sit there for a while, and you, do, you don't have to have to sit. You can be doing your washing, you can be doing your laundry, you can be doing walk, taking a walk, whatever it is, but just do it in absolute silence. Just let your thoughts be the soundtrack to your day. And keep a notepad next to you. Write down your thoughts. There'll be moments of horrible, cringe-worthy thoughts, and there'll be moments of wonderful elation uh, because you, you might come up with a new idea. You might come up with an idea for an amazing book. You might come up with an idea of something you want to do for your loved one. Um, you might remember something you haven't remembered for so long. And it could be a beautiful memory and a beautiful emotion. Um, but just sitting in silence can be so rewarding. I know that some of my best ideas, my best poems, my best writing, my best... Uh, actually, everything. Everything in my life is because of the ideas I have when I'm in, when I'm in silence. So um, give it a go. What have you got to lose? Write in the comments below if uh, you try this out and um, you come up with some amazing ideas or you deal with some emotions. And um, for example, this morning when I was meditating and I was writing all these ideas down afterwards, I thought, silence is amazing. I should tell people about it. You probably already know about it, but I don't care because I've got nothing else to do. So um, hope you enjoy it. Good luck. Enjoy the silence and um, I'll speak to you soon.